Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are kicking off Footmas with this new Footmas Season Objectives Jabamin. Now I spoke about this guy before the game came out, said he will look like he was going to be a beast in game. He finally looks like he's got the card which will make you think, shall I drop Sissoko? Should I maybe swap him out for Kante? This is a free card and that just makes it absolutely fantastic. We are going to be reviewing him today with the live game which will start after this and the highlights that I have managed to record of Shabamin. I've played a few Division Rivals matches with him, I'm going to play a few more after this recording. But before we get into that, if you do enjoy this video, smash a like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. But let's just get into it, let's have a look at this Shabamin card. So, he's medium high, that's really really nice for a CDM on this game, 6 foot 1, Everton. Really, really nice. It's from the Ivory Coast. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Very, very common. I'm going to have a icon Makaleli, middle Makaleli play review. Maybe up tomorrow, maybe up Sunday. I'm not sure when. But that will be coming up soon. I played with him today. I know what it takes to be one of the best CDMs on this game. So I feel like I'll have a good idea of how this Shabamin plays. Obviously, he plays for Everton, like I just said. But here are his stats. So his base card is a 79 rated card. He's had a plus three to the pace plus 8 to the shooting, plus 5 to the passing, 5 to the dribbling, 5 to the defending and 3 to the physical. So in game, that comes down and it's really, really some good boosts in here. Sprint speed goes up to 88, really nice. Short power goes up to 93, plus 11, like what a random boost from EA. That's probably where he gets most of that, plus 8 to the shooting boost. 86 stamina is lovely, 86 strength, 88 aggression, really, really some good stats on this card his passing short pass 83 long pass 79 could be improved on balance 69 could be improved on again with the agility of 71 but he is your sort of um cdm you're not really expecting to do too much with him with this card i would probably put an anchor on him he goes up to an 87 rated cdm 91 defending 91 physical 88 pace some really, really nice stats on this card. But what we're going to do today, as I mentioned, is getting to a rivals match. We play him at left CDM in a 4-2-3-1. Tell him to stay back whilst attacking and cut passing lanes. Let's see how we get on with this new Footmas Jabamin card. So here we go then, into the live game with this Jabamin card. This guy's got Witzel, he's got Rude Hullet, Roberto Carlos. I wonder if he got that Rude Hullet from the SBC. He's got a weird defence. Good attack, but weird defence. Uh, his two centre-backs are really strange. Let's see how we get on. Let's see how this Jabamin card performs up against Rude Hullet. I've misplaced the pass. Can Jabamin win the ball back? No, he's played it through. Great goal. I was trying too much to sort of switch to my CDMs. The, I should have controlled my centre-backs. Good goal. Jabamin up against Royce. Nice, nice uh, interception there. He does that quite a lot for me. Incepts the ball really well, and it's one of the things that I first noticed at the start of FIFA. Players doing really well for me, like a Sissoko, like Kante, like even Ducore. They intercept the ball really well. They seem to just have a bit of extra range on their legs uh, that helps them win the ball back. They are really determined to actually get that ball. Martial, there we go. So it comes from a Jabamin interception. Jabamin again, called into action. Intercepting. Intercepting, poor touch though, intercepts again, really good uh, standing tackle there. Martial, back to Socrates, there we go, 2-1, we've turned this game around. He brought on Eder Militao, brought on Sergio Ramos, we've done really, really well. He must be doing the icon swap objectives uh, for Bundesliga. But we don't mind that at all. We are doing really well. Shabamin won the ball back again. So you can tell he is a ball winner. Shabamin, can he help out the cent uh, centre-backs? No, he can't. Mede, nice. Well played, Shabamin. And we're on the counter again. If we score from this, that'll be three times we've countered this guy from a Shabamin tackle. Looks like we could as well. Griezmann, don't let me down. There we go. A hat-trick of Shabamin. Well, not really hat-trick, but, you know, three goals from where he intercepted the ball. Really, really nice. Looks like we're going to get a rage quit, so we'll get into another match with this card. Here we go, then, into the second game, then. This guy's got a very nice team. He's got some really nice pickups, like Lewandowski, Witzel, he's gone and completed. Ndombele, I like it. I like that team a lot. It's going to be a tough match. Let's see how we get on. 
Hopefully a few more interceptions from the main man, Jabamin. He feels really solid at the moment. And cards that I'm comparing him to, 87 Makaleli, 85 Makaleli, Sizoko, Kante, Frankie de Jong potentially. I've used him a lot, so I have high expectations for this card. And so far, he's doing really, really well. Jabamin's found himself on the attack. Can he get it to Martial? Martial can't finish, but that was a lovely pass from Jabamin. I have no idea. I think it may be because we start in a different formation and he found himself playing really far up the field. He felt confident in the, in the passing, but Martial, he let me down. Can he outpace Zaha? He can't. I expect my uh, CDM Sizoko or Kante to be able to do that. Sort of just alleviate the pressure, run away from the strikers and then get me on the attack. But in that case, he did get caught by Zaha and... Didn't really have the strength to hold him up, which is a bit of a worry. A uh, bit of a surprise, too. Can't get the tackle in on Lewandowski. Try again with Zaha. Auto lunge, kind of, from uh, Jabamin. And there we go. Lovely interception. Gets us on the counter-attack. And this is what I like about FIFA. This is what, well, I like <laughs> the counter-attacks. Fekir, he's not really ideal for the counter-attacks, but he does have a bit of trickery. Can we get the ball? No. Jabamin. He has that pace to catch up. He really, really does feel quick. Um, and he gets the tackle in there on Lewandowski. He feels quick. If you make a mistake and you feel like you need the midfielders to be able to sweep up for you, he's that guy. I, that's why I use Kante a lot. Because Kante, compared to like a Frankie de Jong, yes, Frankie has much better passing. But Kante can make up for my mistakes. And that's what I really love. You see, when I, he's played it through here, I can get Kante, I can win the ball back. And we're on the attack. That's the type of guys that I'm after. Nice. Good composure on the ball. Can he do it again? Yes, he responds well to the ball rolls. That's always a good sign. Back to Jabami because we didn't have a forward runner. He's done well again. He, he, You see there, he's all right to turn with. Good strength against Ndombele. Can we ping that to Martial? I mean, I literally read out where I wanted it to go to. I've made the mistake there with Jabami, but he wins it back. He wins it back with ease. Yes, it can be just because I'm fairly reading his passes easily um but at the same time having the pace having the balance to be able to maneuver quickly is also key in winning these balls back as he's uh, got a good chance here can we block that Shabamin up against his international teammate does well holds it up and he wins the ball back so nil nil half time less interesting than the last game but we are holding it down in the midfield nice it's great inception let's go can he burst away from Zaha this time and get the ball roll? Get it through. He's won the ball back again. Martial back to Jabamin on the left foot. He scored. There we go. That's exactly what I mean. He's caught that about him where he can transition from attack, from defence to attack. And he actually finishes it off. Really, really nice play. He won the ball back twice. Played it back to Martial. Then Jabamin. Really, really good play. Left foot strike, that is not an easy finish. I would have doubted Socrates in that position. Really good start to the second half. So you won't see it, but he did score. Um, he scored because I was replaced. I was moving the shirt behind me uh, because they fell off. And then I couldn't find the pins. And then I ran out of pauses. So he did score. Um, but not really to any fault, but my own. Nice. Jabamin with the tackle. Straight back to what he was doing before. And this guy dabbed on me. So, I was going to dab on him there. No, he got lucky there. Back to Fakir. To Griezmann. Martial's just left it. Martial just left the ball there. Three minutes is up. And it's going to end 1-1. Again, we should have easily won. But, as I say, the thing fell down. So, I had to fix that halfway through the game. Jabamin felt really, really nice. Really reliable. Scored the goal. What we're going to do now is talk about his pros and cons in further detail in the post-match highlights that we did get from Division Rivals with this Jabamin Footmas card. So here we go then guys, into the highlights that we did manage to get with this Footmas Jabamin. Now I really enjoyed using him and you saw in the live highlights how often he intercepted the ball, tackled the ball for me and that's going to start off the pros list for this card. Standing tackle, really, really nice. 85 stand tackle. If you put an anchor on this card, he'll be really, really good in game. I think he will just be fantastic at winning you the ball back. Felt really good. Sliding tackle was something I used less, but I think that it was a few times when I did it, it was really solid. Uh, so I did enjoy this tackling for this card. As you'd expect for a CDM, you want them to be a good tackler in game. 
The height is really nice, over 6 foot for a CDM. Not essential, but it's nice to have work rates, high defensive work rates. I feel like that's essential for a CDM in this game almost. Um, not so much, but I think that's a great thing to have as the CDM card. He's aggressive in winning the ball back. His 88 sprint speed is really nice. Really enjoyed that about the card. And overall, it's just a really meta card that is free. So why wouldn't you want this card in your club? It's not the hardest to unlock. And I think it has a lot of pros. But now we'll talk about the cons. The cons. As he doesn't get credited for an assist there. Because Griezmann messed the finish up. Nice pass from Jabamin though. Balance of 69. I feel like that does affect the card. It sometimes feels a bit clunky. It doesn't feel like you're always in control of the ball. He can do the simple ball rolls. He can do things like that. But he can't really dance away from midfielders as you may like. He does have the pace though, as you see. Running away through the team, really. To get past his defenders and midfielders. So he has the pace, but just not the agility or the balance that you maybe would like. Maybe a Kante offers a bit higher. So that overall plays into a clunky feel sometimes but not too bad for a cdm on this game his positioning sometimes also for a guy with high medium work rate was sometimes off quite strange because i thought that he'd be really good at positioning sometimes it felt like he wasn't really tracking the ball almost losing focus which was strange acceleration of 76 is not the quickest but it's not the smallest of acceleration i don't think it's too bad especially if you put a shadow or an anchor on it his heading accuracy of 75 too is quite poor i do do think that sometimes he'd win the ball because he's strong he's tall but then he would go straight back to his team. So kind of disappointing. And finally, the long passing of 79. You won't be spreading uh, passes with this player. That's not what he's about. What he's about is interceptions. Feeling really, really strong in the midfield. Feeling secure. Feeling like he can hold down the midfield in a 4-2-3-1. This guy is fantastic. Loved playing him alongside Kante. How do I compare him to Kante? You can't. Kante is just the best CDM on this game. For me anyway. But for a free card, is he better than Musa Sissoko? I feel like in an attacking ability, I actually feel like this guy is better. He did score a goal for me. Should have scored a few more. But I felt like overall, he potentially could be a better player. But I just need to maybe play a few more games with him. Decide, play him side by side potentially. I still think I would go Musa Sizoko over this card. But for a free card and overall rating for this Shabamin, I'm going to have to give it a really, really good rating. An 8.8 .8 for me. I feel like I could go into for champions with it. Be really, really confident. But guys, that is going to be the end of today's review. If you did enjoy, smash the like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. And if you heard me in the live game talk about a pin that I'd lost off the back of the shirts, well, I sat down afterwards and I was about to edit. And yeah, what? <laughs> it spiked me. So that really, really hurt. But thank you very much if you did make it to the end. I'll see you all later.